Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. When we last left off, we were making some progress out there, but it's getting to be like consistently 50 plus degrees out there. So I think what we have to do uh, before we finish getting that plasteel is we need to harvest some wood and... Yeah, and build ourselves a passive cooler as well as a door to keep this stuff all shut. All right, so let's get that done. In fact, you know what? Uh, haul all of this wood. Just to, just haul it all because you're going to need all of it anyway. So let's make sure we get all of it so we don't need to be going back and forth a lot. Wasting everybody's time. All right. Now, there's there's the plasteel. I mean, we've we've almost got it, but you know, it's still. Uh, I guess there's time for horseshoes. Let's see, 42. It also cools down slower. That's really. I don't know. I feel like in real life, uh, this should be, like this should, balance out to be about 10 degrees cooler just by virtue of being in the shade. What is this? An item stash quest. Prime Counselor of Verbatim Coalition has informed us of a collection of valuable items worth 400 ducats of silver. And it's just guns. 14.5 by 11... Or, I guess, uh, yeah, 114 millimeter cartridge. A Sabbat round, apparently. 28 days. Uh... Let's see, old school anti-tank anti -tank cartridge. So this is something that would take down the centipede. That is useful. Armor piercing, discarding sabot. Uses a discarded sabot to fire an undersized projectile at higher muzzle velocities, greatly improving armor penetration. Alright. He says there may be danger there. Maybe. But he doesn't know. Alright. Well... Let's uh, go cut down these Drago trees. Because we need that passive cooler. Without it, we are probably screwed. Just want to throw that out there. Just in case that wasn't already, like, abundantly clear and obvious. Alright, so, Mr. Man. Then haul that wood afterwards. Then when you're done, okay, well, whenever you get around to it. All right. I mean, I could cancel this because there's, it doesn't feel likely at this point that we're going to be able to finish this and bring it off with us. And it's too hot for the cheetahs. Okay, so all of this is still not going to be quite enough, but let's, uh, load everything in there. And how are we doing on food, by the way? Alright, we've still got plenty of food. There's also a lot of food just lying around out here. It's also perfectly fine. Though I should haul some of it back. Because that would be kind of important as well. All right, please work. Okay, so one of these is able to keep us reasonably cool indoors. And how long will it last? Five days. Oh, geez, that actually, it really cools us down in here. Okay. That is good. Okay, so what we're going to do at this juncture in time, I think, is we're going to say, hey, when you wake up, consume the agave, consume the agave, then just haul everything, and then I'm going to probably, probably fast forward, uh, just so we can finish getting all the plasteel this episode and getting started on that bowie knife. Oh, that is so good. 17 degrees. Mwah. Perfection. Oh, that's so balmy. 17, 18, 16 degrees. 
Oh, man, that is that is perfection right there. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just do that. Just uh, temporarily kick the old man out. Make him wake up without having to unqueue all his various jobs. That's a pro RimWorld strat for you right there. I mean, I guess. It doesn't seem that pro, does it? But it made me feel like I was, you know, like I knew something. And truly, that's the only important thing in this world, isn't it? Alright, good. And Annabelle's gonna eat some of those. Hmm. Yeah. It's a bit of a dangerous prospect going out here to to mine by day when it's regularly getting above 50 degrees Celsius, but I think we can pull this off. He said before immediately dying of heat stroke. Also, yeah, you're dead. There were other people who were like dying around here, weren't there? And by dying, I mean like falling from the sky. I'm not crazy, right? There were other... There were others. I think. Hmm. Curious. Is that a freaking crocodile? Also, I feel like your body has changed position. Maybe it's been worried at by the crocodile. I mean, there's no way a revival mech serum is gonna bring you back. All right, so we're hauling 25. So we need to we need to actually mine out one more, one more piece. Okay. Also, mark all of this for harvesting. There we go. Bit of a minor break risk. Playing some horseshoes. It is burning hot. How are we actually doing with the whole heat stroke deal? Yeah, that's pretty serious. We're also almost out of agave again. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna fast forward like I said I was going to do. Oh my god. Why couldn't you have done that, you know, elsewhere? Could use more drone. Anyway, I'm like I said, I'm gonna fast forward. I'm gonna mine one more thing of plasteel. And I will catch up with you when we have done that. So, see you shortly. Okay, and so we return as we have almost got that plasteel taken care of. So that's great. Very great indeed. I wonder how much, like, actual wood I need to keep that full. Probably not a full 50, but no doubt we will need a fair amount. It's been a while since I've used one of these things, so I forget whether these just completely disappear or if I can uh, simply keep refueling it. I think I can just keep refuel uh, refueling it, but, uh, you know, with these things, it's always better to be safe than sorry. We've also got this good thing going here where we're, we're sleeping during the day and then coming out at night when it cools off, or at least we go to bed around the midday period and then we're mostly covered. Good, as one might imagine. Oh dear, we're also starving a little bit. Let's go consume some agave. Annabelle's consuming some agave. I'm gonna chop down some saguaros here so that we can ideally refuel here. Can I? Yeah, it is. It's just that simple. All right. I just wanted to be sure of that, and yeah, might as well harvest that, and then let's uh, get chopping. And by chopping, I mean crafting, which is going to be a whole other ordeal and a half, probably. But we've got 2.6 days worth of time to make the best dang Bowie knife the world has ever seen. We shall call it David. Or something like that. Just to be clever. Because that's what you do in this cold, crazy world. Also, I guess while we're here, can I uh, just... You don't really need to carry this log around anymore. Big, heavy log. It's good for bludgeoning your enemies' heads in, but, you know. It'd probably be better to have an actual weapon. 
And if we can find another cheetah or a cougar or a similar type animal, man, it gets hot out there. But yeah. Oh good, there is still stuff for you to eat, so that's perfectly great. There's also plenty of agave that we'll be able to harvest before we're done here. A lot of work. I'm tempted to fast forward through this, but I also feel like we could just keep chatting. And a dead and rotting Gila monster. The real shame. I also wish, I I wish that I could, I feel like, kind of wondering if it's combat extended or another mod, because I'm sure I remember a time where I could go like right here and generate the planet again. And form caravan and be like, hey, let's, uh, let's leave. But maybe I'm just crazy. I feel like that was something I could do. Or maybe I'm just mistaking the cases where I've like, I'm raiding a bandit camp and then I send the animals out onto the world map and then have them come back in. Because you can do that for sure. Well, that's rotted away. And I bet all those plasteel knives are too. Okay. Oh god, we're, we're starving again. And you don't even need to be sleeping. Stop doing that. <laughs> Alright. What is your problem now? You're starving, I get it. That's because you stupidly... Uh, went to bed. Without, uh... Yeah, without... Without my say-so. And you act all surprised when you get hungry. I mean, I get it. You you want to sleep, but we've got important stuff to do. We've also only got 3.6 days before we leave, so uh, we do have a little bit of work on our hands here. Let's uh, make sure we get all this agave. I mean, the crazy thing is like all this agave right here basically amounts to only a day or two of food. But, a day or two of food is better than, you know, less. Or no food at all, for that matter. And then, yeah, eat your way back to full, to a full stomach. And then we'll haul everything else. I think that seems like the smartest play here. And again, to be honest, I... I don't really... Actually, why am I even hauling... Well, I'm hauling this because we're probably gonna have to eat at least one more time. It's a dry thunderstorm. That's dangerous. Medical emergency animals? Oh. Oh, it's just you. How... you... I mean... Yeah, you're gonna die soon. Can I take the unfinished bowie knife? Like, how much weight? It, it's actually almost done. Okay, finish finish the bowie knife and then let's get out of here. We gotta butcher that dromedary before it rots away. Because that's good camel hide. And I, for one, I'd had to be... Oh. Wielding a two-handed weapon. But I was able to hold the wood. Okay, help me understand what's going on here, game. I am very, very confused. Alright, let, let's finish building this as well. Oh, I can't actually carry it with me. Well, now I know. Ooh, chili. Not bad. Alright, let's, uh... I'm gonna carry this with us if we can. I don't actually even really need to uninstall this, but I will. Just to make my life easier. It's 900 hours. We can totally make this. Reform the caravan. Alright, so make sure we have the agave. We've got all the panfera lever. I'm gonna throw this aside for now. I would love to take that. 
Make sure we've got all our arrows. The passive... Oh, that passive cooler is really heavy. Dang. Oh, and the knife. Make sure we've got the knife. I can actually carry one piece of wood. Wonderful. Or two pieces of plasteel for all the good that's going to do us. I'll take the lever. All right, let's let's go home. I'm not super jazzed about it, but uh it's a thing. I mean, I guess what's going to end up happening here is we're going to have to go form camps in all this arid shrubland if if we want to stay here. But I, I think we probably don't want to stay here. Oh my. Yeah, there's like just a crocodile on the map still. <laughs> Yep. No, don't make that a stockpile zone. We'll get around to hauling it at some point in the future. Alright, so we've got enough agave to stay sort of... Okay, never mind. We're eating in our sleep, apparently. Oh, wait, we got a piece of agave. Ah, boy. Tough times, I tell you. I'm still mildly confused by this. Because I would love to set it up as a, um... The Bowie knife. Oh, no. That minor Alzheimer's confusion could... Could end up killing us. And by could, I mean it probably will, because... We are liable to starve to death now. That could not have hit us at a worse time. Sweaty ate raw food. Transhuman is pleased from our wooden denture. Oh, I hope that confusion doesn't last too long, but it usually lasts a while. We're going to need to get ourselves a youth serum or, um, I think Lucifer. No, I, you know what? I don't think Luciferium cures Alzheimer's. Or does it? No, I don't think it does. I think it used to, but it doesn't anymore. It used to be that Luciferium, like, when it was first introduced, I believe it cured everything. Also, it looks like we have saved ourselves, so that's good. Alright, so we'll butcher the dromedary and eat its meat, and then we're going to want to get off this map. We might actually want to head... We might want to head north, but then again, I mean, I guess we could go out for the item stash, and then we can hang out at this oasis. Hmm. Yeah. What? What? What the heck's happening here? Oh, right! I forgot about the. Uh, Got about the iguanas. Are you uh, still attacking me? You are, you are a manhunter. You are hunting men. Unfortunately for you, I have a David Bowie knife, so there's not much chance of you succeeding. All right. Did get bruised just a little bit. All right. Okay, so you tend to yourself. It also occurs to me we're going to need a grave for the old man's sister. In fact, solely because of the fact that his sister's corpse is going to be on this map, I don't think we'll get rid of it completely. I mean, also because I do at some point in the future when we're better equipped and have, like, overpowered gear. I want to bust open these and see what's inside. Because I feel like it could be good. And a uh, hollow iguana. Yeah, it's really hot here, so we're not we're not going to stay on this map for very long. And I'm thinking to myself, I might get rid of our stone arrows and replace them entirely with uh, 
these arrows. At least as many of them as we can carry. Which, with that in mind, I'm gonna do that. Okay, and we are starving. I don't want to... to just eat the... iguana here. But I will if I have to. Also, I guess we can cancel that. There's really no need for it at this point. Okay. So, let's see here. Drop this. Drop that. Go ahead and install. Go ahead and install. Uh, but prior prioritize installing this. And then prioritize butchering at the butchering table. We at least have some raw meat to eat. It's always a dangerous proposition, as we've established before, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, good. We're actually gonna butcher this. I might make a priority of- I, you know what, I'm actually wondering if I'll leave the horseshoe pin behind. I'm even tempted to leave the butcher table behind, to be honest with you, but I feel like that would be a dangerous proposition. Just because of how much work goes into making one of these things and given all of our, uh, all of our stuff that we've got to deal with. But for now, we have made it safely home again. God, it's so hot in this on this map. A crocodile is hunting Annabelle for f oh Jesus. There is no way Annabelle survives that. Okay, there's also very little chance of the old man surviving this if the crocodile. Wait, what am I doing? The crocodile is right there. We can shoot it before it gets to us. Like I said, we can shoot it before it gets to us. Though, don't be fooled. In real life, crocodiles are actually pretty fast in real life, like on land. But they're not good at moving in ziggy zag lines because of those stubby little legs of theirs. Okay, we can, uh, we can just let it bleed to death. That is acceptable to me. God, I wish we had the wood to just build a passive cooler in here. But, that is not happening. Also, how are we doing on heatstroke? It's going up, so I think we'll actually end up dying. If we stay on this map, that is. So... Let's move. You know what, actually? Jenkins? Now that I think about it, maybe I'm getting too sentimental here. Because the thing is, we know that Jenkins is, uh... We know his sister's here. But when you think about it, Jenkins himself has no way of actually knowing... Uh, what fate has befallen his poor sister. So with that in mind, if we don't want to metagame things too much, then he doesn't even really need to worry about burying her. And we don't even really need to worry about keeping this map. But I am going to keep this map because... I like it. Uh, go ahead and un uninstall these things. We want to get off this map. Okay. So, uh, go ahead and haul these things. There we go. And we'll carry everything we can, which is probably not going to be much. I might actually just eat this, even. Just to uh, get it out of there. But anyway, I think it's also time to wrap this episode up. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. And when we return next time, we're getting out of this map again.